Hello and thanks for watching Gary Teaches Maths. I'm continuing to go through the NXL high two paper from June 2018. This is paper three and we're on question 15. So what we're asked to do is we've got to estimate the distance that this car travels in the first 20 seconds. And we've got a graph which is showing the speed of the car in meters per second during the first 20 seconds of the journey. So this is a speed and time graph and what we need to know is that the distance traveled is actually the area underneath the graph so that equals the area under the graph and what we're told to do is use a method where we split the area under the graph into four strips of equal width so we're going to start by doing that. So if we're splitting it, if it's 20, um, we're going to split it into four strips of equal width. Each strip is going to be a width of five seconds. So we can start here, just draw a line down and repeat that at 10 and at 15 and at 20. So there are our four strips. One, two, three. Four. And our job is to try and find the area underneath each of these strips, our four strips, and we're going to try and then add them together, and that should give us the area under the graph, which will be the distance that the car's travelled in that time. So we can use a method of splitting it up into uh, trapeziums. So if we look at the area of a trapezium, I'll try and draw a uh, a trapezium here so there we go what a trapezium has is two parallel sides like that uh, which we can label a and b and we can label the distance between these and it's the vertical distance we're interested in so at 90 degrees we can label that h so the area in a trapezium is given by the formula half a plus b times by h so if we look at each one of these we can represent them as a trapezium the the first one although it's a triangle could be considered to be a trapezium which has one side of length zero so it'd be like having side a having length of zero and then i'm just going to split it up into a series of trapeziums like this and there we go and what will happen is working out these areas and having them together will approximate to the area under the curve so we're going to look at each one individually area one is we could say half of and our a there is zero because there's no length actually on that side so zero plus this value here, which if we project across is actually 22. So zero plus 22, and then the value of H for this one is actually five, because that's that distance there. And it's gonna be the same distance for each one of these strips. So that's gonna be times five. And if we work that out, that's going to be half times 22 is 11 times 5 is going to give us 55. So we're going to continue with that now. We're going to work out um, the second trapezium. So again, we've got a half and we're interested in finding the length of both of the parallel sides. So this one is, as we measured it before, 22. Second one is that point and that point crosses at 28 so 22 plus 28 and again the width there is going to be 5 so times 5 so if we work that out and uh, not forgetting this is a calculator paper so we can do all that in one go that would give us 125 we'll repeat for the third trapezium there and so again it's a half we've got the 
this one, which is 28, plus the height of this one, which you project across, is going to be 32 times by 5. And if we work that out, that works out to be 150. And finally, the area represented by the fourth one is going to be a half again times by this one, which we worked out before was 32, plus this one, which is 35. And again, times by the five, uh, which is the height of it. So again, I'll just say that again. We've got all, all the heights are going to be the same because we split them into four equal uh, distances there four strips of equal width. So if we work that one out, again on the calculator, that's going to be 167.5. And so we want to work out what the total area is. So the total area is going to equal all these values added together. So we're going to add that, that, and that together. And if we do that, we get 497.5. And we've got to then consider what the, the units of this are going to be. So because this one's in seconds and this is meters per second, we can see that because the seconds, the unit of time matches, we're actually going to be measuring the distance in meters, which is standard units. So the total area is that. And we can say that, therefore, the distance traveled or at least our estimate, because not forgetting this is an estimate, distance travelled is 497.5 metres. Um, so that's part A done. We're now going to look at part B. So it's saying, is our answer to part A an underestimate or an overestimate of the actual distance so that the car travelled in the first 20 seconds? And we've got to give a reason for our answer as well. So is it an underestimate or an overestimate? Well, actually, we can see that although we're trying to work out the area under this graph, we've missed out some bits because the curve curves in this direction. And we've took the underside of the curve like that. We can see, actually, we've missed some bits off. So. And we'd have missed off a bit there, slightly less on this one, slightly less on this one. But always we're on the underside of the curve. So um, we need to say it's an underestimate. And our reason is because we've missed off some of the area. So because... We could say the curve goes above the straight lines. The curve goes above the lines. And that's it. We've done it. So I hope that's been useful to you. If it has, please like our video and subscribe to our channel, which is Gary Teaches Maths. And also, take a look at our website which is at the top of the page here so if you would be interested look at bestmathstutors.co.uk where we talk about all things to do with maths and you can also find some great maths tuition as well that's what you're looking for so thanks for watching